Hello, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepy at gmail.com. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to help traders to build algorithm trading robots. It can backtest and live trade with inter interactive brokers, Robinhood, and TD Ameritrade. You can download iBridgePy from www.ibridgepy.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more tutorials are coming. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to place orders to interactive brokers in iBridgePy. The first thing you need to make sure is that you have the correct data package. It's not required, but it's highly recommended. The reason for that is when you want to place order, very likely you want to know the current market price, and then based on the current price to place an order, either market order or stop order or limit order. If you don't have the correct data package, you won't be able to get real-time price. And when you place orders with market order, or even limit order is kind of risky. So it's highly recommended to have the correct data package. If you are not sure what kind of data package you need, maybe you can give IB representative a call and tell them what kind of contract you want to trade. And they will help you to uh, purchase the correct data package. The second thing you need to make sure is that you have the trading permission on the track on the contracts that you are going to trade. For example, if you want to trade futures, but you don't have trading permissions, you only have, for example, you only have trading permission on stocks, IB will not accept your order to trade futures or options or something else. It will only accept the order of trading stocks if you, that's the only trading permissions you have. Also, IB will silently reject your order and without any error messages. That's kind of annoying, but that's something you need to be careful. To place order is relatively simple, actually. What you need to do is call a native, a built-in function in iBridgePy called order. It has two uh, input parameters. The first thing is security. The other one is number of shares you want to purchase, you want to trade. Security. You need to understand the concept of security. Actually, uh, security is a core concept in average buy. Each security object represents one contract from IB database. So if you can watch YouTube tutorial video, uh, video tutorial video, this video to understand the concept of security. And you can search IB contract database, go to this link. You can use either symbol or super symbol to define a contract. And then you can use function order. Number of shares. When this number is positive, which means you want to buy, if this number is negative, which means you want to sell, and this number should be an integer, you can use this function anywhere in your code. Order type. Order type can be limit order, stop order, market order, and others. If we go, if we go to iBridgePy documentation, and go to order. So this is the full signature of this function, security amount. Style is where you can change the order type. It supports market order, limit order, stop order, and others. And examples are provided here. So you can place different order type. Also, you can place a hidden order. Sometimes it's called iceberg order. 
the hidden order is when you place your order, actually IB allows to place hidden orders at the exchange of Iceland. If you want to place, just set hidden to true. Hidden order is when you when you don't want to disclose the number of shares you you uh, you place to an exchange, you can you can just hide the number of your trades so that there's no other people can know what how big your order is. So it's pretty good feature if you want to trade big. And there are other features. Okay, there's other features actually. Let's give you a demo. So let's go to average Pi and let's switch to the example of place order. And then let's quickly go through this code. Initialize function is a built-in function in average Pi. It can be used to define variable, global variables. For example, flag is a boolean, and the default value is false. We want to switch it when the order is completed, and then to end it. Context dot security. We want to define a security, and here I use symbol, and I put SPY. Handle data runs is a built-in average pack function. It runs every second by default. So when the function comes in, uh, when the when this function is triggered every second, it checks flex because default is false and right now it's true. So which means it goes into this method. So I use function order here. It has a security and the number I want to trade. Here I put 100. For example, I want to buy 100 shares of SPY. If you want to sell, just put minus. But here I want to buy 100 shares of SPY. The return value of this order function is order ID. The type of order ID is a string. So actually, this line will finish the action of place order. However, it's highly recommended to use order status monitor to follow up on the order status. The, the order status monitor takes two variables. First one is order ID. You can use it from the order return back. The other part is target status. It's a list, and inside the list is strings. These are the expected order status. For example, when you want to place a market order, the reasonable expected order status within a few seconds is either your order is filled, then that's, that's good, or your order is submitted, which means you are, the exchange is still working on your order. It's submitted, it's submitted to the exchange, but it has not been filled. Even if it's a market order, it may take some some time to fill your order. If you place limit order or stop order or some other order types, it's possible your order is the condition is not triggered, so the order status is still submitted. So when average pi follow up on this order status using order status monitor, when average pi receive filled or submitted, then the code will continue. Otherwise, iBridgePy will stay inside this function to keep asking server what's the order status. And then it waited D for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, if iBridgePy has not received the expected order status, it will terminate to allow users to find out what's the problem. And then we switch the flag to true. Then the next time when the function get into handle data, it will go to display, display all. 
tabs, which is the display account information and order status. And it's just end the call. Right now, US market is not open. So let's try how it goes. So you can see the message said, order message, you want to buy 100 shares of SPY. The primary exchange is ARCA. The warning message come from IB server said, your order will not be placed at exchange until the Monday, the next time the market is open. And then it print out order ID. Order ID is IB12, it's a string. Then, because we have a order status monitor to follow up on order status, we expect the order to be filled or submitted. But actually, the real status we got is pre-submitted, so that average price stopped waiting for 30 seconds, and then tells you this order ID status is pre-submitted. This is the contract information, and warn, it just gives a warning message to user that your order has not been either filled or submitted at this moment. So if we want to do something when the market is not open, we can try something like this. So we can put pre-submitted into order status monitor, target status, which means if we receive all the status monitor, which is pre-submitted, I'm fine with it because I know the market is not open so that the code can continue. Okay, done. The reason for that is, as I explained, the order status is pre-submitted. Ibridge Pi received the order status and then continued the line to line 32. The next uh, run of handle data, it goes to handle data and then goes to line 33. Display all. It just displays uh, your account information that just print out information and order status. You can see IB12 is the previous run. The status is still pre-submitted. And then the next time when we run it, we got the uh, order ID is IB16. So we see IB16 is there and order status is pre-submitted. Let's try another example. Let's try Apple. See how it goes. Okay, same thing. Buy a hundred shares, and you can see the order is uh, pre submitted here. If we come back to the average by API documentation, you can see wait for feedback in seconds, D for 30 seconds. If you know it takes much longer and you really want to get the other status monitor to wait for longer time, you can change this number to a bigger number. Follow up. This follow up is not as same as other status monitor. This follow up is just want to have the minimum response from IB server. So let's think about this scenario. You want to place a hundred orders in one second. If you do order function, then it will keep order, order, order. However, when the follow up is true, 
the older iBridge pair will wait for the minimum response from IB server and then place the next order. It's not necessary to wait for any order status, but any response from server said, okay, your order is okay, then it will keep, it will continue. However, if you want to place 100 orders in, say, five seconds, it takes time to wait for the response from IB server. However, you can switch follow up to false. Then iBridgePad will ignore any server message and then just keep order. This is some feature you can use when you place a lot of orders in a short period of time. Thank you very much. For any questions, please send an email to ibridgepi at gmail.com. If you need any help on coding, please check out our well-known render coder service. More tutorials are coming. Please don't forget to subscribe. iBridgePi is an easy-to-use Python platform to backtest and live trading. Thank you very much.